Hey, welcome back. You're tuning in to HowToPlayStock.com. My name is Casey Kepley. Today is Wednesday, July 26th. Uh, it is roughly about 9.30 in the morning. I'm um, giving you a market update here and I want to talk about oil. Okay, so for all you oil investors out there, uh, listen up because I have a little bit of experience in this and I'm just going to share my opinions and thoughts on investing in oil, okay? But before we get started, the Dow Jones, roughly around 21,621 points. Um, and as I'm shooting this video, realize that uh, this was taken yesterday, okay? So the, the time frame that I gave you for today's date doesn't apply to these numbers. These are numbers that were taken yesterday as of Tuesday. So just keep that in mind. Uh, the Dow Jones, 21,621 points. Uh, Bitcoin is about $2,590. Dollars, uh, Ethereum was two hundred and eight dollars and twenty three cents. You know, again, these prices are from yesterday, so they've changed. If you go back and you look at them right now, uh, silver spot price sixteen dollars fifty eight cents. Uh, gold spot price one thousand two hundred fifty eight dollars and fifty cents. Oil uh, WTI, WTI is at forty seven dollars and eighty cents, and Brent oil uh, crude is at $50, okay? For oil investors, people who think they're, they want to, you know, look at getting into oil. Uh, T. Boone Pickens, all right? Go research that guy a little bit. He's an uh, oil tycoon. He has said in some of his speeches and interviews that he's given in the past that in order to, uh, there, there's supply and demand with oil, okay? So in order to keep the demand uh, high, when it comes to the oil, it's all about the price. So oil needs to be at low prices in order to increase the demand of oil. All right. Uh, my thoughts on that. When you're investing in oil, there's a lot of speculation. Uh, there's a group called OPEC or the OPEC nations who controls the price of oil. And a lot of those are the uh, Middle Eastern countries. It's an organization that gets together and they determine what the global price should be for oil, okay? So you have to understand that when you're looking at investing in oil. Uh, because of this, it's hard to track supply and demand and where the price is going to be, say, five or six months from now uh, when it comes to the price of oil. Now, if you're an investor and you're looking at investing in oil, I'm going to tell you right now, just from my own personal experience, that investing in individual companies who produce oil is really really high risk now it is a good thing for you when it comes to tax breaks so the government will give you a lot of tax breaks when it comes to investing in oil just due to that fact alone that it's really high risk so there is some reward there but as far as you know holding on to these companies long term and really knowing the odds of you know are you gonna win or are you gonna lose your money uh, it's really hard to to determine that if you're just playing off of an individual company. Uh, I'll give you a good example of that real quick. I was invested in some oil trusts back in 2014 and they were pumping out really high dividends for me because the price of oil was pretty high. And uh, so, you know, this is before we had the uh, supply glut in oil <clears throat> and before the price of oil really started crashing on us. So I was making really good returns on my dividends through my oil trust, okay? But as of 2014, like in the summer, oil just started taking a nosedive. So I started losing a lot of money on the individual company stock that I was invested in uh, because oil started taking a, a nosedive. And therefore, the company was, was not as profitable, so they couldn't pay out as much on their dividend, so the dividends started going down too. Well... By 2015 or mid 2015, the company I was invested in, you know, I, I stayed in. I didn't sell because I was in a more long term, and I was going off of a dividend investing strategy for income, and it was it was really a high returning dividend. So I was using it for uh, increasing my dividends. So I stayed in. I didn't want to sell, and by mid 2015, they ended up cutting the dividend altogether because oil just was not profitable. It, at that point, was roughly around like $25 to $30 per barrel of oil, 
okay? And for some of these companies to be profitable, most of them, I would say, in order for them to be profitable, uh, it costs them so much money uh, per barrel of oil, you know, when it comes to their company expenses and net operating uh, costs. So those are things you want to look at is how much is it costing them per barrel of oil to get it out there on the market versus the price of oil that people are buying, okay? So if the, the cost is more over here on this side to create that barrel of oil than it is to actually buy it, your demand may be high, okay? But you're not making any profits because your cost it's costing you too much money. So that's why I don't like investing in individual oil companies. Just from my own experience, I saw firsthand the, the mayhem that's involved in that and how quick you can lose your money. Uh, my thoughts on that, if you're looking at investing in oil, I would I would suggest, I'm not telling you what to do here, you need to go out and do your own research, but I would suggest uh, indexing, okay? So, so get into an index uh, in oil where you're broadly diversified across the markets um, in oil or the, the energy sector, okay? I think you're much better off doing it that way because regardless of where the price goes, some companies are going to prosper um, due to their own financial positioning. And then other companies are going to, you know, like the one I was involved with, may cut their dividend or they may be at risk of having to liquidate a trust in oil. And those are things, as an investor, you just do not want to put yourself in those kind of positions. And part of the reason why I got into that position, well, I was a beginner, okay, when in, in the oil markets, I did some research on them. I did some research on the company I was investing in at the time. But what I could not predict was the future price of oil and how this company was going to respond to that. Um, and therefore, I really didn't know what I was doing. Okay, so I learned a lot from that. And if I were to go back and invest in oil again, I would completely do it a different way. I would just, I would just index across the board on it because, again, there's too much speculation involved. You have OPEC nations. Uh, gathering and manipulating and controlling that price of oil. Um, so, you know, being an outsider as a retail investor, there's just no way for you to know, uh, you know, the ins and outs of everything involved with oil and where it's going to go six months to a year from now. So I hope that that helps you out if you're looking at investing in oil. Um, one of my last thoughts on that, though, is right now oil, uh, you know, it's it's... Like I said, WTI crude oil is at $47.80. Brent crude oil is roughly around $50. Uh, and that's per barrel. So compared to where they were back in 2014, I would say you're looking at at least fair value or undervalued on the, the oil price. Okay, But they have to keep that price low in order to keep the demand high. As soon as that demand stops, you know, as soon as that demand starts dropping, uh, then they can increase the price. But, again, you don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, I'm not part of OPEC. So, you know, unless you are, you're probably, as far as I'm concerned, it's mostly all speculation. And I don't like speculating as an investor. That's why I'm saying just you're better off indexing across the board on something like that. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a likes up. Go ahead and share it with others. Uh, again, these are just my thoughts and opinions on oil. You know, I could be wrong on some of this. So, if, if you want to, go ahead and leave comments in the uh, comments section and let me know your thoughts on oil and where we are right now and what some of you guys might be looking at as far as investments as well. Uh, but outside of that, these are today's investors investing tips. You're tuning in to howtoplaystock.com. And remember, guys, income is the outcome, all right? I'll talk to you later.